basically, he was on me, basically. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. It's in the messages. I'm pretty sure he posted it. He said, I'll send you my driver. I said, okay. I go outside. It's a Uber. What do you mean you got a driver? Like, the f anyway, I go to his house. You know, we hang out on some chill stuff. And a home. And he ordered me food. And then the whole time I'm there, he's just trying to have to me cuddle. Trying to cuddle. Like, as a grown-ass man, he's trying to cuddle with me. Trying to cuddle with me. Hey. Girl, what's wrong with cuddling? What the hell? I like to cuddle. Um, asking me to suck his this and that. Oh. Trying to me. I was just like, um, no. I was basically, I was just like, no. I was just curving him. I wasn't being rude or anything. I was just like, no. I was like, I don't fuck people that I barely know. I'm traveling right now. She said, I wish I would have on you i keep thinking about it because you haven't texted me back i miss you low key but i'm not going to keep bothering you know i i know you're busy play with me it ain't even about being going to his pool party or being in the kai video it is about that but it's not really about that it's the fact that you're stepping on my toes and you're stepping on my money because the casting company i work for they're real cool and tight and ever since i went to that house and curved him that bitch has not been texting me back at all for no more bookings at all. You get what I'm saying? And I can feel vibes from people. When I'm talking to this woman in person, I'm feeling her vibe and I feel like this don't fuck with me. But Energy I don't lie. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. Hey, one thing she said when she said, I feel vibes from people, that is true. Words can, can somebody could tell you whatever they want to tell you, but energy do not lie. Okay? Energy do not lie. Like you're stepping on my toes and you're stepping on my money and you're stepping on somebody that you don't even have to step on. You got a million followers. That's what hurt my feelings. And that's just what it is. You're stepping on my toes. You don't even have to do that. I did nothing to you. I was, I feel like it was a, regardless of what my back was against the wall. And if, even if I was a fuck that, he still would have did the same shit. I just, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie about that. I took a video, um, in his room to show my friend. If that's clout for sending that to one person, and that's, I don't give a At this point, I deserve something. I'm leaving here with something. The f You embarrassed me, you fucking humiliated me, and you got me blacklisted from the entertainment industry. Bitch, I'm leaving here with something. Say no more, say no more, say, say no more, look, look, say word to my mother, word to everything I love, say no more, God bless, you done fucked up, God He bless. said word to my mother. Word to my mother, chat, word to my mother, that, bro, I'm a volley, bro, word to my mother, this dumb ass, stupid, dumb ass, chat, word to my mother, I did not do shit, oh my God, this is a, yo, it's, he did me fucking dirty, like, what the fuck? Yeah, it seemed like she a little bipolar. I'm really shaking right now because he did me dirty. What the f type shit is She this? seemed a little bipolar. Now, this, I ain't victim shaming. Hold on. You cannot treat me how you treat other females. I do not take this shit lightly. I suffer from mental illness. It is. It hits me ten times harder. I can't bounce back like everybody else. See? I told y'all. It seems as though she bipolar. But... Um, what I'm gonna do, cause, um, I wanna, for research purposes, I wanna find her Instagram, because I'm pretty sure she posted more stuff. <clears throat> I gotta find her Instagram. Alright, so, her Instagram got shut down, but I found her TikTok, and she went into details on TikTok, but before I get into her videos on TikTok, I wanna say this, man, young men, young black men, young white men, young men who have made it and have become successful, please be careful who you bring around your success. Let's get into the videos on TikTok, man. I, I want to see, because I don't want to be out here victim shaming. I do feel as though she may, she do seem a little bipolar. But at the same time, I do understand that 23-year-old man with money has a beautiful woman over his house. I would, at 23, I would have been trying to f*** too. So, you know. I don't know what the hell that was, but <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Okay. 
Hey you guys, it's Royal. I just wanted to go ahead and clear the air, especially about the live videos and the videos I posted last night. I feel like you guys didn't really understand what I was trying to say because I was so... She angry. seemed like a totally I different person. I'm articulating myself and I just want to go ahead and just dive into that. Um, I feel like the experience I went through is just one of that many women go through in this industry and it just is what it is like never meet people in person i'm sorry like they fucking suck they aren't who they are that's true on the net you don't know these people that is very Simple. true but anywho i have been working on sets with multiple casting agencies for music videos youtube videos things like that and that nature and i just feel like this is really like a new experience for me I feel like the lines kind of get frayed when you meet these high profile frayed. individuals and they want to. Cause hold on, to cause hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now she done went on on Chat GPT and then done print out a goddamn apology letter because ain't no way. All right, I'm, I'm I don't want to victim shame, but she said the lines the lines seem to get frayed. Now that. Oof. I don't know who wrote that, but shit. Recruit models are extras to try to just basically sleep with them. So normalized in the industry that they will refer to these women that never approached them as groupies. And that's just not the case. But that's why I posted this experience so other women can be aware. And other women can also relate to the experience that I'm going through. I was invited last minute by my casting company um, to do an AMP shoot. I wasn't even going to go because I didn't even know who AMP or what AMP was. Like, I've never even heard of that. And that's where I met Kai. He asked for my number. And he even asked for a few women's numbers as well. But I'm going to get into it more in part two. I just want to do separate videos so I can make sure you guys are following along and that there is no more confusion. And it just is what it is. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Um, Before we start part two, I do want to say that it she just seemed like a totally different person from the first video. Like... Maybe she had some time to settle down and write out what she wanted to say, but, like, she just seemed totally different. Like, I don't know. It just, you know what I'm saying? But the stuff that she's saying is true, that some of these dudes, man, they use the, the um, talent agencies to recruit, to recruit beautiful women. They, they use it as... Not a prostitute, but what, what you call them other folks, man? Like, uh, call girls, right? Call girls. It's not the same. It's not the same. It is not the same. Because there, there's a video of Paul Pierce saying that you can rent a girlfriend for a day. So, a lot of these, like, you know, famous dudes, they use it like that. I'm not saying Kai did that, but dudes do do that. Part two. So, after I saw him grab, like, four of the girls' number, I really didn't care. I thought, like, maybe he was planning something other networking event that he was going to put me on to, you know? But later that night, he asked me to come over and that he's just going to send his driver to come get me. And I thought this could be, like, a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for, like, me to actually meet him and get to know him. He's basically just saying he wants to hang out, yada, 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 shit like that. I did want to use the time that I had with him to see if I could get booked or casted for other things because I literally met him at a work event. But after I sent him my address, he sends me a text basically saying he wants a massage. And as you can see on the messages from Twitter, I just put LOL because I didn't really know how to respond to that. And I literally thought he was joking because he put a laughing emoji. And then he says his Uber, which I kind of laughed because he specified driver, which I thought was funny. And I took that as a sign that he had some other shit going on. But... Yeah, and I feel like I still could have went, you know, just to talk to him about the things that I wanted to talk about personally. And after that, I had to leave because I got to go to work anyways. And there's other things that I have to be doing in my life besides sitting at his house. And then I get to his streaming house, like the one that he records at, and it's a mess. And he just start acting weird, which kind of made me uncomfortable. 
and he starts walking around for at least a good 15 minutes and now I'm weirded out because that's not what you do when you invite somebody to your home especially with somebody you don't know like normally you would try to hang out with them and I've also heard through people some things about him and when I got there my friend texted me telling me to be cautious of you know his whole rape allegation thing you know what I'm saying <sighs> I didn't know Kai had any type of grapes allegations. Um, let's not go out here and try to uh, throw salt on people's seasoned food. Okay, let's not let's not try to do that. You got your situation going on. Let's not let's not do that. My thing is too. If you was weirded out, you should have left. If I'm in a situation where I feel uncomfortable. I would leave. I'm out. Yo, call me an Uber. You don't got. You can't call me an Uber. I right, should. I call an Uber myself. I would have left. Okay, that's that. So just to go ahead, zero three thirty one two thousand. I am not fifty seventy forty whatever the y'all are saying. I'm literally twenty three years old. Ty's about to be twenty two. I think that's what he told me. But yeah, anyways, that's why the video was recorded. It wasn't recorded for cloud purposes. How the f I'm gonna get cloud off a of rug, y'all? Be so. F I mean, what you doing so right now is kind of cloud in, chasing. Chilling, and I'm telling him the type of stuff that I want to be in, even if it's just for free exposure. Like I really don't care. And basically, I'm just chilling. I'm just basically using this time to just network and chop it up with him, basically. And I know a lot of y'all are like, "What the f bitch? You should never work for free." But I was just doing what I thought. Uh, would be right because I wanted to work with him and that's just what it was. And so he promises that and once again he invites me to the pool party which is at this point another invite. And basically he's telling me he's going to reach out to me and put me on. And I tell him cool that's great and then he ordered me some food and I don't eat it because that's just trash. And basically I'm telling him it's too late I'm about to dip and then soon after that he's asking to cuddle you feel me. And once again I'm not comfortable with that. I don't really know him like that as a person. Basically, to me, he's a random guy. But I feel like it's a great networking opportunity to try to work with him. But besides that, it's nothing really there between us. You feel me? I don't know him. I don't know if he assumed because of his internet fame or whatever he has going on that I would just let him work on me for free with no relationships, no guarantee, no none of that. But that's not who I am. And I could tell he was kind of irritated, but like, what? do you expect from me and i feel like it's beyond groupy behavior to somebody just because of their name like mm, me i have to get to know somebody first but i'm gonna leave it just right there i know that probably blew away any networking opportunity that i had with him and he's just gonna let his ego and all of that get in his way because i didn't let him me and basically the next day to make him feel better i just said you know we should have fucked in this that and the third basically just to make him feel better that don't make any sense why would you text me to try to make me feel better that, oh, we should have did the nasty? That, I was with her until she said that. Like, I don't know, bro. Because I just curved him and I refused to sleep with him. But regardless of what... I feel like what I would have did in that situation, it's a power dynamic that I cannot control. What I have to do is try to keep my morals and self-respect and try to relate to other women in the entertainment industry who have already been reaching out to me saying that they relate to the same thing as well. Or women who think this is a desirable situation and that if they compromise their value for a nigga with a name, he's going to put them in a better position when really all you're going to do is walk away with nothing. I've gotten more staying true to myself than I've ever gotten trying to kiss his ass. But hate me or love me, I'm going to do me regardless. And that's just what it is. I'm sorry. So just to go ahead. Zero. Alright, so this video is very long, so I'm going to try to cut what I... I'm going to try to make what I'm going to say short. Young ladies, um... Do not put yourself in a situation that you're going to be uncomfortable with and call it network a networking opportunity. 
if you felt as though you was going to this man's house, um, and it wasn't predetermined that y'all were going to shoot videos together, don't go. In a situation like that, if you... Because at the end of the day, as a 23-year-old young woman, right, you got to know what's up if a dude is asking you to come to his crib. Like, at 23, if I ask you to come to my crib, I'm going to try you. And once you say no, that's it. You said no. We could, we can move along. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, an attractive woman come to my house and, I, and I'm 23, I'm going to try you. You got to understand that I'm going to try you. You feel me? And he did what any man would do. Now, at the end of the day, he's supposed to respect you and not go any further. And I feel as though that's what he did. But, you know, I don't know how it came to the part where all your business is on the internet. So, who put who on the internet first? Was it a situation where he tried you, um, you know, you said no, and then what the fuck? He tried you, you said no, and then um, at the end of the whole thing, he started treating you differently, so you felt some type of way and tried to expose him on the internet. I f maybe that's what happened, because I don't see Kai just coming out on the internet and speaking your business unless he's trying to defend himself, because at the end of the day, he has a brand, so why would he come out and say, oh, this chick came to my crib, like, I don't see him doing that, so... The fact that y'all are on the internet right now, is, I know it's your fault. It got to be your fault. There's no... It sound hard. I don't want to sound like I'm... Say, Kim! Stop stomping on the floor! I don't want to sound like I'm victim shaming. I don't want to do that because that's, that's a thing now. But I just... I'm about to beat my son ass, y'all. I just don't see Kai just bringing that on the internet. Especially considering it will have a negative effect on his brand. Um, I hope the both of y'all can get over that. I hope you can get over whatever it is, you know. I, I hope you can get over the situation. And I hope Kai just leave it alone. Because to be honest, there's nothing to gain from this. To be quite, quite honest, you stem to gain more from this than he does. If you play your cards right. You know, a lot of... Lovable people started off as being hated, believe it or not. So his fans might hate you right now, but shoot, you got all the eyes on you, so figure out a way to turn that around. You know, figure out a way to turn that around. I'm pretty sure you could do that. But the last thing I want to add, because I'm just out here spilling, young men with money, with fame, who have made it out, please protect yourself. Okay, protect your investments. You are an investment, matter of fact. Protect yourself. Protect your brand. Be careful who you bring around you. Kai, be careful. Don't end up like Zion. <laughs> Do not end up like Zion. Anyway, man, that's today's video. Squad.